Kyle Jarvis showed why he is the most feared bowler in the second division of the LV County Championship as he collected his third five-wicket haul of the summer and his 47th wicket in this competition this year to take Lancashire to their fifth win of the season, a 91-run success over Gloucestershire in Bristol. This was anybody's game as the last day started. There'd been nothing to separate these two teams right through the first three days of this superb cricket match. Gloucestershire entered the final morning on 26 for 1 in their pursuit of a target of 252 and should have lost Chris Dent very early on, only for Alex Davis to spill an edge off Tom Bailey. There were some other scary moments for both batsmen in the opening few overs, but as time passed by, both Dent and Michael Klinger settled in and started to build a partnership, the former waiting 99 balls before hitting his first boundary. The thought was that the first hour of this day was going to be crucial. It was Gloucestershire who were to win it, as these two batsmen worked the ball around well, seeing out the day's first 70 minutes, in which they took the total to 68, to give their side an ideal platform from which to build. Klinger's wicket, given his form over the last couple of weeks, was the one Lancashire really wanted, and it was won by James Faulkner, the batsman with a rare fault shot. Klinger was out for 42, but Gloucestershire didn't solely rely on him, and Dent, now joined by Ian Cobain, saw out the rest of the morning session. Lunch coming with the home team on 104 for two and looking very well placed to complete a double over their opponents here. 148 more were wanted in the final two sessions. On the restart, Dent completed his 50 off 148 balls and he knew that if he could just keep going for a while longer, his side would be big favourites. Instead, a rather remarkable collapse occurred as Gloucestershire lost five wickets for six runs in the space of 28 deliveries. Needless to say, it was Jarvis who began it as he persuaded Dent to go on the attack, pulling a ball too far from outside his off stump to Ashwell Prince at mid-on. Jarvis had his 45th wicket of a sensational season when, in his next over, he also nit one back late to trap Cobain in front for 15. Jarvis was backed up by Bailey, who ensured that Gareth Roderick had a game to forget. Unable to keep due to a fractured finger, this LBW completed a pair for the batsman, one that used up 27 deliveries overall. Lancashire now stepped up, especially Jarvis, who won another leg-before decision to see the back of Benny Howell, also for a duck. And when Jack Taylor became the third man to fall without scoring in a matter of minutes, Jarvis hit in the top of his off stump, the Zimbabwean had a third fifer of the season and had reduced Gloucestershire to 119 for seven in no time. Jarvis, the country's leading wicket taker by a distance now, had just taken four for five in 17 balls and from looking second best, the visitors had suddenly emerged as favourites. The home supporters shocked by what had just happened. It was left to Geraint Jones and Craig Miles to try to turn the tables again. Miles was missed in the slips, a tough chance off Glen Chapel, who would have been thrilled with Jarvis's exploits. Not that that drop mattered, as Jones on 14 had a slash and a ball from Faulkner and edged behind at 154 for 8. Before the Australian all-rounder also removed Matt Taylor in the same way, as he became the fifth man of this innings to perish without troubling the scorers. In only 21 overs of the afternoon session, the game was over. Miles, who took 10 wickets in this match, the last to go, as he slogged Jordan Clark to Faulkner after making 17. From 113 for two, the home team had been dismissed for 160, those eight wickets falling inside 18 overs, in fact. So Lancashire took the game by 91 runs, Jarvis with figures of 5 for 39, a match analysis of 9 for 106, and that meant that the division leaders added 21 points to their tally after making it 5 wins from 8. Gloucestershire had to settle for 5 ahead of their next game with Essex on Sunday week. Lancashire, now 60 points clear of 3rd place, next entertain Leicestershire from this Sunday.